Lessons 2 through 4 from A Practical Grammar of the Latin Language by George J. Adler. Read for the LibriVox Language Learning Collection, Volume 2. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Lesson 2. Pensum alterum. Of the First Declension. A. The first declension comprises all substantives and adjectives which form their genitive in ai. The nominative of such of these words as are of purely Roman origin ends in a. That of a few Greek words in e, s, and as. Those in a and e are mostly feminine, the rest are masculine. The singular of a noun in a in connection with mea, my, and tua, thy, or your, is thus inflected. Nominative, my paper, mea carta. Genitive, of my paper, mea cartae. Dative, to or for my paper, mea cartae. Accusative, my paper, meam cartam. Vocative, O oh, my paper, mea carta. Ablative, with or by my paper, mea carta. Nominative, your table, tua mensa. Genitive, of your table, tuai mensai. Dative, to or for your table. Tuai mensai. Accusative, your table. Tuau mensau. Vocative, o oh, your table. Tua mensa. Ablative, with, from, or by your table. Tua mensa. So decline, tainia. Fascia. Ora. Penna. Remark, the a of the ablative of the first declension is always long, and sometimes printed a. But in all other cases of words declined, the final a is generally short, as carta, nominative, candelabra, candlesticks, tembla, temples. Nota bene. In the vocabularies of this grammar, the quantity of every Latin word will be given, and the paradigms of inflection will show the quantity of the different case terminations. From these data, the student will accent according to the rules of Lesson 1, page 6. Examples of the application of these principles of accentuation are furnished in the phrases of each lesson. Have you? Habes ne? Num habes. Este TV an habes. Note: In asking questions, the Romans usually employed certain signs of interrogation, of which the most common are the enclitic ne, always affixed either to the verb or to some other word of the sentence, the particles num, an, equid, numquid, utrum, nonne, etc. The enclitic ne and equid can be used in questions of every description, whether the expected answer be affirmative or negative. Num and numquid only when it is expected to be no. Nonne only when it is to be yes. An and utrum chiefly in double questions. Yes, sir, I have. Ita es domine. Habeo. Sane quidem domine est. Note. The most current Latin adverbs corresponding to our English yes are etiam, even, or even so, vero, indeed, recte, you are right, certe, certainly, ita, ita est, si est, it is so, sane, 
sane quidem, indeed, or surely, immo, or immo vero, yes, yes. But the Romans frequently reply by a simple repetition of the verb or of the emphatic word of the inquiry. Ergo, here, with a simple habio and est. The ceremonious use of a word like our sir was unknown to the ancients. To domine, however, the vocative of dominus, master or lord, there can be no objection. Have you the hat? Habes ne pilion? Habes ne tu pilion? Este tibi pilius? Note. The Romans have no article. Its place is in certain cases supplied by a demonstrative pronoun, by unus, one, aliquis, someone, etc. But ordinarily, the distinctions expressed by our articles must be mentally supplied from the context. The learner will also notice the omission of the pronouns ego, tu, which the Latin language employs only for the sake of emphasis or contrast. Yes, sir, I have the hat. Si ques domine, habio pileo. Etiam domine, est mihi pileos. B. Observation. The verb habio, being transitive, is followed by the accusative of the object, and the neuter verb est by the nominative. The pen. Penna. Pennai. The ribbon, tainia, tainiai, or fascia, fasciai. The table, mansa, mansai. The paper, carta, cartai. The hat, pileus, pilei, accusative pileon, or pileon. Nominative and accusative. The sugar. Sacharum. Sacharii. Nominative and accusative. The salt. Sal. Salis. Accusative. Salam. C. Observation. Words of the neuter gender have the nominative, accusative, and vocative, singular and plural always alike. My. Nominative. Masculine. Meus. Feminine. Mea. Neuter. Meum. Accusative. Masculine. Meum. Feminine. Meam. Neuter. Meum. Thy or your. Nominative. Masculine. Tuus, feminine, tua, neuter, tuum, accusative, masculine, tuum, feminine, tuam, neuter, tuum. D. Rule. Adjectives and adjective pronouns agree with their substantives in gender, number, and case. Thus, my sugar. Meum sacharum, nominative and accusative. My hat, nominative, pilius meus, masculine, or pilion meum, neuter. Accusative, pilion meum, or meum pilion. My pen, nominative, mea penna, or penna mea. Accusative. Meam pennam, or pennam meam. Your salt. Nominative. Sal tuum, or masculine. Sal tuus. Accusative. Sal tuum, or tuum sal. Have you my hat? Habes ne meum pilium? Yes, sir, I have your hat. Vero domine, pilio tuam habio. Have you my ribbon? Habes ne tainia meam? 
I have your ribbon. Fabio, tu am tainia. Have you the pen? Estiti bi penna. Abe esne penna. I have the pen. Estmihi penna. Abe o penna. Exercise 1. Have you the table? Yes, sir. I have the table. Have you my table? I have your table. Have you your pen? I have my pen. Have you the sugar? I have the sugar. Have you my sugar? I have your sugar. Have you the paper? I have the paper. Have you your paper? I have my paper. Have you the salt? I have the salt. Have you my salt? I have your salt. Lesson 3 Pensum tertium Of the second declension A. The second declension comprises all substantives and adjectives which form their genitive in E. The terminations of the nominative are us, generally masculine, sometimes feminine, er, ir, masculine, and um, neuter. Note. To these must be added one adjective in ur. Satur, satura, saturu, meaning sated or satisfied. Examples. Meus dominus, masculine, my master. Nominative, my master. Meus dominus. Genitive, of my master. Mei domini. Dative, to my master. Meo domino. Accusative, my master. Meo domino. Vocative, oh my master. Mi domine. Ablative, with my master. Meo domino. Note on the vocative. This vocative is sometimes meus and sometimes mi after the analogy of proper names in ius, which have always e, as in Virgilius, Virgili. Horatius, Horati. So also, Filius, Fili, Genius, Geni. Libertus, masculine, your book. Nominative, your book. Libertus, genitive, of your book. Libri tui, dative. To your book. Libro tuo. Accusative. Your book. Librum tuum. Vocative. O oh, your book. Liber tue. Ablative. With your book. Libro tuo. Sacarum bono. Neuter. Good sugar. Nominative, the good sugar, saccharum bonu. Genitive, of the good sugar, saccari boni. Dative, to the good sugar, saccharo bono. Accusative, 
the good sugar. Sakharu bonu. Vocative. Oh, good sugar. Sakharu bonu. Ablative. With the good sugar. Sakharu bonu. Like dominus. Decline. Pelius. Pannus. Equus. Calceus, and all nouns and adjectives of this declension which end in us. After the manner of liber, decline, ager, pulter, faber, magister, etc. Like sacharum, all neuters in um, as in aurum, corium, lignum, plumbum, etc. Note. Some nouns and adjectives in er retain the e in the genitive and have eri instead of ri, as in gener, generi, a son in law, puer, pueri, a boy, liber, liberi, free, etc. Weir, a man, has weiri, and so its compounds as the can weir. The Kenwidi. Remark 1. The final e of the genitive of this declension, and of Latin words generally, is long, except in mihi, tibi, sibi, where it is common, e. 2. The final o of the dative and ablative singular of this declension is always long, but in Latin words generally it is common, as sermo, amo, Habeo. Which of many? Nominative masculine. Qui or quis. Feminine. Quae. Neuter. Quod or quid. Accusative. Masculine. Quam. Feminine. Quam. Neuter. Quod or quid. Which of two? Nominative, masculine, uter. Feminine, utra. Neuter, utrum. Accusative, masculine, utrum. Feminine, utram. Neuter. Utrum. Good. Nominative. Masculine. Bonus. Feminine. Bona. Neuter. Bonum. Accusative. Masculine. Bonum. Feminine. Bonam. Neuter. Bonum. Great. Large or big. Nominative, masculine, magnus, feminine, magna, neuter, magnum. Accusative, masculine, magnum, feminine, magnum, neuter, magnum. Bad. Nominative, masculine, malus, feminine. Mala, neuter, malum. Accusative, masculine, malum. Feminine, malam, neuter, malum. Bad, as in worthless. Nominative, masculine, wheelis. Feminine, wheelis, neuter. Wheelie. Accusative. Masculine. Wheelam. Feminine. Wheelam. Neuter. Wheelie. Or. Nequam. Indeclinable. Note. Malus is said of persons and is morally bad. Wheelies. Chiefly of things worthless. Nequam of persons and things both.
beautiful or fine. Nominative, masculine. Pulker, feminine. Pulkra, neuter. Pulcrum, accusative, masculine. Pulcrum, feminine. Pulcram, neuter. Pulcrum. Also, nominative, masculine, formosus, feminine, formosa, neuter, formosum, accusative, masculine, formosum, feminine, formosam, neuter, formosum, ugly. Nominative, masculine, turpis, feminine, turpis, neuter, turpe, accusative, masculine, turpem, feminine, turpem, neuter, turpe. My good sugar, sacharum meo bono, nominative and accusative. Your bad sugar. Sacharum tuum wile. Or, Sacharum tuum nequam. The fine table. Nominative. Mansa pulcra. Accusative. Mansa pulcram. The fine paper. Nominative. Carta pulcra. Accusative. Carta pulcram. The fine ribbon. Nominative, dynia pulcra. Accusative, dyniam pulcram. The ugly hat. Nominative, pilius turpis. Accusative, pilium turpem. The ugly book. Nominative, liber turpis. Accusative, librum turpem. The ugly salt. Nominative. Sal turpis. Accusative. Salem turpem. Which hat? Which paper? Nominative. Quis pilius. Quae carta? Accusative. Quam pilium. Quam cartam. Which sugar? Kurt sakharu, nominative and accusative. Quid sakhari, nominative and accusative. B. Observation. The interrogative, quote, is always used adjectively and agrees with its noun in gender, number, and case. Quid is more like the English what? and is either used independently or has its noun in the genitive. The masculine which is more commonly qui than quis when a substantive is expressed with it. Have you good sugar? Estne tibi sacharum bonum? Yes, sir. I have good sugar. Sane domine est mihi sacharum bonum? Have you the fine ribbon? A beis ne tainium pulcram? I have the fine ribbon. Habio tainium pulcram. Which hat have you? Qui est tibi pilius? Quem pilium habeis? I have my ugly hat. Pilium meum turpem habio. Which ribbon have you? Quae est tibi tainia? Quam habes tainia? I have your fine ribbon. Tainium tuum pulcram habio. Exercise 2 Have you the fine hat? 
Yes, sir, I have the fine hat. Have you my bad hat? I have your bad hat. Have you the bad salt? I have the bad salt. Have you your good salt? I have my good salt. Which salt have you? I have your good salt. Which sugar have you? I have my good sugar. Have you my good sugar? I have your good sugar. Which table have you? I have the fine table. Have you my fine table? I have your fine table. Which paper have you? I have the bad paper. Have you my ugly paper? I have your ugly paper. Which bad hat have you? I have my bad hat. Which fine ribbon have you? I have your fine ribbon. Have you my fine pen? I have your fine pen. Lesson 4. Bansum Guatum of the Third Declension. A. Substantives and adjectives of the third declension have their genitive in is. The terminations of the nominative are numerous, some ending in one of the vowels a, e, i, o, i, and others in one of the consonants k, d, l, n, r, s, t, x. This declension comprises nouns of every gender. Nouns ending in a, e, i, e, k, l, and t are neuter. Nouns in o, or, os, and eus are generally masculine, but sometimes of other genders. Those in as, aus, es, is, is, bz, ns, and ps are generally feminine, sometimes masculine. Those in er and n are masculine and neuter. Lapis, masculine, a stone. Nominative, a stone. Lapis. Genitive, of a stone. Lapidis. Dative, to a stone. Lapidi. Accusative, a stone. Lapidam. Vocative, o stone. Lapis. Ablative, with a stone, lapide. Vestis, feminine, a garment. Nominative, the garment. Vestis, genitive, of the garment. Vestis, dative, to the garment. Vesti, accusative, the garment. Westdown, vocative. O oh, the garment, vestis, ablative, with the garment, veste. Canis, masculine and feminine, the dog. Nominative, the dog, canis. Genitive, of the dog, canis. Dative, to the dog, cani. Accusative, the dog. Canam, vocative, o oh, dog, canis, ablative, with the dog, cane. Note, nouns which are sometimes masculine and sometimes feminine, according to the context, are said to be of the common gender. So, adolescens and juvenis, masculine and feminine, a young man or woman, conux, masculine and feminine, a husband or a wife, infants, masculine and feminine, an infant, and a number of others. Nouns of which the gender is unsettled are said to be of the doubtful gender, as in dies, masculine and feminine, a day, penus, masculine and feminine and neuter, provisions. Tibiale, neuter, the stocking. Nominative, the stocking, 
Dibiale, genitive, of the stocking. Dibialis, dative, to the stocking. Dibiali, accusative, the stocking. Dibiale, vocative, o stocking. Dibiale, ablative, with the stocking. Dibiali. Sartor, masculine, the tailor. Nominative, the tailor. Sartor, genitive, of the tailor. Sartoris, dative, to the tailor. Sartori, accusative, the tailor. Sartore, vocative, o tailor. Sartor, ablative. With the tailor, sartore. Caput, neuter, the head. Nominative, the head. Caput. Genitive, of the head. Capitis. Dative, to the head. Capiti. Accusative, the head. Caput. Vocative, o oh, the head, caput, ablative, with the head, capite. Frater, masculine, the brother, nominative, the brother, frater, genitive, of the brother, fratris, dative, to the brother, fratri, accusative. The brother. Fratre. Vocative. O oh, brother. Frater. Ablative. With the brother. Fratre. Sal. Masculine and neuter. The salt. Nominative. The salt. Sal. Genitive. Of the salt. Salis. Dative, to the salt. Sali. Accusative, the salt. Salem, or sal. Vocative, o salt. Sal. Ablative, with the salt. Sale, or sali. Remark, the final e of the ablative of the third declension is always short. And the final E long. It. Nominative. Masculine. Is. Feminine. Ea. Neuter. Id. Accusative. Masculine. Eum. Feminine. Eam. Neuter. Id. B. Observation. The pronoun is, ea, id must be put in the same case in gender, as the substantive for which it stands. Not or no. Non. Non vero. Minime. I have not. Non habio. No, sir. Non vero, domine. Minime vero, domine. Have you the table? Ha ne mensam. No, sir, I have it not. Minime domine, non habeo. Minime domine, ea non habeo. Non habeo domine, non. Have you the hat? An habeas pilio. No, sir, I have it not. Minime domine, non habeo. Minime domine, eo non habeo. Have you the sugar? Non habeas sac harum. I have it not. Non habio. D. Observation. The English idiom requires here id non habio. In Latin, however, the pronoun is, ea, or id is frequently omitted, when it would have to stand in the same case as the noun to which it relates. The coat. Toga. Togai. The cloth. Pannus. Panni. 
the horse, equus, equi, the shoe, calceus, calcei, the thread, filu, fili, the candlestick, candelabro, candelabri, the wood, ligno, ligni, the leather, corium, cori, the lead, plumbum, plumbi, the gold, aurum, auri, of, e or x, e, observation, the preposition e or x is followed by the ablative, e can be put before consonants only, x before vowels and consonants both, of gold, ex auro, aureus, aurea, aureum, of cloth, e panno, f, observation, the material of which anything is made may either be expressed by the ablative of a substantive with e or ex, or by means of an adjective in eus, thus, wooden or of wood, Ligneus, lignea, ligneum. Paper, or of paper. Cartacius, cartacea, cartaceo. Leather, or of leather. Scorteus, scortea, scorteum. Or, e corio, leaden, or of lead. Plumbeus, plumbea, plumbeum. Or, e plumbo. Linen, or of linen. Linteus, lintea, linteum. Stone, or of stone. Lapidius, lapidea, lapidium. Or, saxius, saxea, saxeum. Pretty. Bellus, bella, bellum. Or, venustus, venusta, venustum. The paper hat, nominative. Pilius Cartaceus. Accusative. Pilium Cartaceo. The wooden table. Nominative. Mensa lignea. Accusative. Mensa lignea. The linen stocking. Nominative and accusative. Dibiale lintio. The golden candlestick. Nominative and accusative. Candelabrum aureum. Or Candelabrum ex auro. The horse of stone. Nominative. Equus lapidius. Accusative. Equum lapidium. The golden ribbon. Nominative. Tainia aurea. Accusative. Tainia mauream. The cloth coat. Nominative. Toga e panno. Accusative. Toga me panno. Have you the paper hat? Nom habes pilium cartaceo? No, sir, I have it not. Eum non habio domine non. Non domine, eum non habio. Have you the stone table? An habes mensam lapidia? I have it not. Non habio. Ea non habio. Of the genitive of the third declension. G. From the paradigms of this lesson, it will be perceived that substantives of this declension vary considerably as to the manner in which they assume the characteristic termination of the genitive. The following rules are intended to give the learner some insight into the extent of this variation. Note. These rules, though not directly connected with the exercises of this lesson, are yet recommended to the careful attention of the student. 1. Nouns in a change a into atis, as poema, poematis, neuter, a poem. 2. Nouns in e change e into is, as cubile, cubilis, neuter, a couch. 3. Those in e are generally indeclinable, but sometimes have itos, as in 
hydromeli, hydromelitos, neuter, mead. 4. Those in e add os, as misi, misios, neuter, vitriol. 5. O commonly becomes onis, as sermo, sermonis, masculine, speech. But do and go become dinis and ginis, as rando, grandinis, feminine, hail. Origo, originis, feminine, origin. Note, a number of other nouns in o have likewise inis, as homo, a man, nemo, nobody, Apollo, etc. Caro, flesh, feminine, has carnis, and anio, the name of a river, anienis. 6. Nouns in k, d, l, n, simply add is, as halek, halekis, neuter and feminine, a sort of pickle. David, Davidis, masculine, a man's name. Cubital, cubitalis, neuter, a cushion. Ren, renis, masculine, the reins. Note, but lac, neuter, milk, has lactis, and those in men have minis, as numen, numinis, neuter, the deity. Greek nouns in on have onis and ontis, as ikon, ikonis, feminine, an image. Acheron, acherontis, masculine, name of a river. 7. Those in ar, er, or, and ur commonly add likewise is, as nectar, nectaris, neuter, nectar, anser, Anseris, masculine, a goose. Lector, lectoris, masculine, a reader. Sulpur, sulpuris, neuter, sulfur. 8. Those in as generally change as into atis, as veritas, veritatis, feminine, truth. 9. The only nouns in ais are Ice, neuter, brass, and price, masculine, bondsman, which have idis and praedis. 10. Nouns in aus have audis, as laus, laudis, feminine, praise, fraus, fraudis, feminine, fraud. 11. Those in s generally change s into is as famis, famis, feminine, hunger, rupes, rupis, feminine, a rock, but sometimes into edis, itis, or eris, as hyres, hyredis, masculine, an heir, miles, militis, masculine, a soldier, keres, keredis, feminine, the goddess series. 12. Nouns in is have commonly is as apis, is feminine, a bee, obis, is feminine, a sheep, but sometimes also eris, inis, itis, or idis, as pulvis, pulveris, masculine, dust, sanguis, sanguinis, masculine, blood, lapis, lapidis, masculine, a stone, quiris, quiritis, masculine, a Roman, semis, masculine, one half, has semisis. 13. Those in os change os into otis, as sacerdos, sacerdotis, masculine, a priest. Nepos, nepotis, masculine, a grandson, but also into odis, ois, and oris, as custos, custodis, masculine, a keeper, heros, herois, masculine, a hero, 
ros, roris, masculine, du. 14. The termination us becomes oris, eris, uris, udis, utis, or odis, as corpus, corporis, neuter, a body, opus, operis, neuter, a work, crus, cruris, neuter, the leg, incus, incudis, feminine, an anvil, salus, salutis, feminine, safety, tribus, tripodis, masculine, a tripod. 15. Greek nouns in eos have eos, as orpeos, orpeos, etc. 16. Nouns in s, ns, and rs change s into dis or dis, as pus, pultis, feminine, a sort of pap, pars, partis, feminine, a part, glans, glandis, feminine, any kernel fruit, serpens, serpentis, feminine, a serpent. 17. Those in bz, ps, and ms have bis, pis, and mis, as urbs, urbis, feminine, a city, stirps, stirpis, masculine and feminine, offspring, hiams, hiamis, feminine, winter. Note, but the adjective kailebs, single, has kailibis, and the compounds of keps have ipis, as brinkeps, brinkibis, the foremost. The genitive of ankeps, doubtful, is ankipitis. 18. The only nouns in t are caput, capitis, masculine, the head, and its compounds, occiput, occipitis, etc. 19. Nouns in x change this letter into kis or gis, as vox, vocis, feminine, the voice, calix, calicis, masculine, a cup. Rex, regis, masculine, a king. Codex, codicis, masculine, a book. But nix, feminine, snow, has nivis. Nox, feminine, night, noctis. Senex, adjective, old, senis, or senicis. And supelex, feminine, furniture, Supelectilis. Exercise 3. Have you the wooden table? No, sir, I have it not. Which table have you? I have the stone table. Have you my golden candlestick? I have it not. Which stocking have you? I have the thread stocking. Have you my thread stocking? I have not your thread stocking. Which coat have you? I have my cloth coat. Which horse have you? I have the wooden horse. Have you my leathern shoe? I have it not. Have you the leaden horse? I have it not. Have you your good wooden horse? I have it not. Which wood have you? I have your good wood. Have you my good gold? I have it not. Which gold have you? I have the good gold. Which stone have you? I have your fine stone. Which ribbon have you? I have your golden ribbon. Have you my fine dog? I have it. Have you my ugly horse? I have it not. End of Lessons 2 through 4 from A Practical Grammar of the Latin Language by George J. Adler. Recorded by J. R. Omahan.